and future generations will never legally be able to purchase tobacco because the truth is there is no safe age to start smoking. We are also reducing the appeal and addictiveness and availability of smoked tobacco products. New laws will mean only smoked tobacco products containing very low levels of nicotine. Dr. Marewa Glover is in Auckland, New Zealand. She's the director of the Independent Centre of Research Excellence. Doctor, welcome to the programme. Uh, is this workable? Anything's workable if you don't care about uh, that some people will be hurt by the unintended negative effects. What in unintended negative effects? In other words, people trying to wean themselves off tobacco. I speak as a former heavy smoker in those days when I was younger and not a journalist. I didn't check all my sources, but I remember seeing something from the American Medical Association that said that nicotine is as addictive as heroin and also goes to your brain eight times faster than cocaine. I mean, it is a drug, of course, isn't it? We... We deliberately demonised and exaggerated uh, the negative effects of nicotine to in encourage people to quit. So um, some of that is not true. But have a, having said that, I think the, the most concerning aspect of the plan is what you were talking, referring to, nicotine. So this plan to remove virtually nicotine from the tobacco. So... The low, very, very low nicotine cigarettes that they are intending to allow to still be sold in New Zealand have failed at market. They basically don't work. Without the nicotine in it, they will not work. So that is actually a much faster route to everyone quitting because they... Um, you, why smoke anymore? It's not there. The nicotine isn't there. The problem I have with that is that about 450,000 people in New Zealand will be forced into cold turkey. And did you go through that when you were quitting? No, I didn't, because you know what? Now I vape, because, of course, it's not the nicotine that kills you. It's the carcinogens inside the cigarette. That's the problem. That's the thing that is detrimental to your health. Because I understand that in New Zealand, people will still be allowed to vape. So I am still addicted to nicotine. I smoke now my vapes inside my house because I know it's not damaging my family. That's correct. And in New Zealand, thankfully, we have adopted vaping products as the chosen alternative for people to move to, and this is fabulous. And we are getting a sharp reduction in the last year. We are now down to 9.4% of adults age 15 and over currently, or daily, sorry, that's daily smoking. And our youth rate uh, is down to only 1.4% of youth 15 to 17 year olds now smoke at least once a month. This is fabulous. That really is what is the news here. What about the issue that um, governments make a lot of money from taxing cigarettes? Because actually a packet of cigarettes to produce is not nearly anything what it actually costs to buy. And so New Zealand's government is going to be losing a lot of tax revenue, presumably. Yes, I expect that there will be other things to get the tax from. So, for instance, we recently had a referendum on whether or not to legalise cannabis. The uh, It was kind of neck and neck, and the no vote was just slightly ahead, so this time it didn't happen. But next time... If it does, if they do legalise cannabis, then a lot more tax will be able to be to come in that way. The other thing is that at the moment, the vaping products are not taxed. And what other countries are doing is starting to tax vaping products. Once New Zealand gets to a certain low level of, of tax from tobacco, then I'm sure that the government will start to tax vaping products. The current vaping legislation has it built in that first they want to eliminate tobacco smoking and then they're going to eliminate vaping. OK, so we know that cigarettes are highly addictive. What about the effect uh, on the Indigenous communities of New Zealand? Because the figures show that the Indigenous communities have a higher percentage of smokers compared to other communities. 
Well, again, fantastic news with our recent 2021 statistics. And we've had a sharp drop in smoking among uh, my population, a Māori population. We are now down to 25.7%. And, you know, I celebrate that. It's still a huge difference between uh, Māori and the New Zealand European population who are down to 9.4%. So we have a huge inequity and that really has to be taken into account when they look at bringing in this very radical, uh, very regressive and punitive law uh, because of the black market that we will be facing. So over 60% of people imprisoned in New Zealand are Māori. And I'm really, really concerned about the black market that's going to occur, the criminalising of people who smoke and people being forced to go to the black market for cigarettes. And then, of course, getting caught. Uh, we've had a huge number of robberies of retailers uh, because it's so hard to bring illegal, illicit tobacco in through our border control. Dr. Marewa Glover, thank you so much for talking to us on the News Hour. Take care.